My name is Alex Novo. I work for uh, IDS GeoRadar, which uh, recently has been acquired by Hexagon. So IDS provides solutions for the uh, aerial navigation, naval uh, navigation, uh, special projects for the military, and also uh, civil markets and defense. Uh, the part that Hexagon acquired is the IDS GeoRadar. So those solutions include radar technologies, and they are uh, divided in two main uh, set of technologies. One is the ground penetrating radar used uh, for subsurface imaging, and the other is interferometric radar technology, which is mainly used for uh, displacement monitoring, so very used in uh, mining, and also in the civil sector for controlling landslide uh, displacements. In North America, we are a subsidiary of IDS GeoRadar in, uh, in Europe. Uh, we sell the technology, uh, we provide training, so um, we provide training, customer uh, support. On the GPR side, ground penetrating radar, um, we have different systems for different applications. The entry level is uh, a hand push, ground mower kind of uh, GPR that uh, recently uh, Leica uh, is marketing and it's called the DS. Uh, 2000. Um, that's a, the simplest uh, system we have that people usually use it for um, real-time detection of pipes and cables. Then we have uh, different solutions, uh, more complex ones like uh, this one, the uh, Stream EM, which is a massive array of antennas, uh, 38 antennas actually in different polarizations, different frequencies, there is nothing uh, out there in the market that can uh, uh, replicate what the uh, Stream EM can do. And yeah, in this particular, for this particular solution, Leica includes uh, a LiDAR called the Pegasus. So we have this uh, Pegasus 2 combination of above ground mapping with the Pegasus and the Stream for the underground mapping. Yesterday I just got here from Hong Kong and from the GPR conference and we were talking a lot about uh, full resolution imaging. So the way to put this technology in, a next, uh, in the next level is to uh, produce images that lay people can understand. You need to be a PhD or have 10 years of training on GPR to see an image and understand it. And that the only way to do that is collecting very dense uh, data. And uh, you can do that with uh, the entry level lawnmower style GPR, but it takes forever to collect data at, uh, uh, couple of inches apart, but you can do that with this stream, uh, tow it by a vehicle, 10 miles per hour, you can collect uh, data space by only these two, two inches of spacing uh, much faster, and that allows you to have a very uh, high resolution imaging that uh, everybody or almost everybody can, can understand and interpret. That's, that's the next level of this technology. Next product would be uh, mini version of the stream. So something that is uh, more compact, uh, has also more than 30 antennas, different polarizations, higher frequency. So uh, in radar, if you have a higher frequency antenna, that means that you can uh, compact it in a smaller package because of physical uh, matter of how space are these dipoles in, in, inside the antenna. So that, allows us to have a, this uh, hand push uh, card, but inside we're gonna have a, like a two feet array of as much as I think 34 antennas and just a space by four centimeters. So this is gonna allow us to have a, a shorter, a smaller version of uh, this machine that we can hand push using indoor uh, environments, sidewalks or narrower streets. Thank you.